Jen here. I hope you guys are having a magical day. So here's another episode of Magical Mystery Monday. Remember last week or last time, I don't know when these videos are gonna go up, but remember last time I told you that I wanted to film all at once to make it easier since these videos aren't like super long videos? Well, that's what we're doing. We'll have three consecutive videos kind of like this where I'm in the same clothes, same hair, same makeup, making the same racket as I always do um, because I have some vinyl mations that I want to open and I have some pins that I want to open and I don't want to wait forever. I've got vlogs coming out soon. I have other ideas of videos I want to do so I wanted to get these filmed and get these up and running for you guys. So I hope you all enjoy. This is going to be another pin unboxing, unopening, unbagging. We've got boxes, we've got bags. So without further ado, let's get into which pins we will be opening today. So. While we were at Walt Disney World, I did a lot of shopping, as you saw in my pin haul. I love to shop while at Disney World, and I love to spend all of my money, if I can, at Walt Disney World. So I picked up a few more um, of the pin boxes, and the ones that I picked up were these uh, Monorail Magic ones, which I thought these were so cute. And these are the ones you can collect on the back. So the next one, can you tell I'm like overly excited in all these videos? I love opening Disney Park items more than I like opening anything else. I don't know if I'll open any more mystery minis in the future. I don't know if I'll do any of those other Zoom Zoom blind bags because I really just don't have the space for the stuff anymore. And I really just dig like the Disney pins and the Vinylmations. Those are the things that I really like and that I really like to display in my house. Anyways, these are the Storybook Steeds and this is the Mary Poppins one. And then these are the other ones on the back that you can collect. Y'all, please don't give me a thumbs down for how terrible the lighting is in this video. And there's also a mystery one, and I don't know who that mystery one is. So you get the Mary Poppins pin, and then you get a mystery one also inside of here. And then I also got another one of the Magical Mystery Pins Series 9. Um, if you watched the last video, you know who we got, and you know who we can choose from. Mickey, Dumbo, um, Simba, Jiminy Cricket, Peach Dragon, and Tinkerbell. So, yes. And then we also did some Hidden Mystery Mickey um, pouches, which uh, contains two randomly uh, picked pins. And I don't remember the price on this because there's no price on the back, but there's two randomly selected pins. These are great for pin trading if you're interested in pin trading because you don't know what you'll get. Sometimes you'll get really cool ones and you're like, there is no way I'm trading it. And then sometimes you get really crummy ones and you're like, ew. Also guys, we did some pin trading while we were there. I traded a few pins and I feel like I got a bunch of fakes. That is what I hate about pin trading. You're going to spend all your money on buying pins like this which are legit disney pins you trade them and they end up being fake like is there something that you guys know that i don't know is there a way to pick which ones are fake i thought i knew but i don't think i do know so um what do you guys recommend do you even pin trade because of this reason this is a reason i haven't pin traded until this past trip because i don't want to be ripped off i don't want to spend my money on legit pins and then get fake pins. That's not cool in my opinion at all. So what do you guys think? So let's go ahead and do opposite of what we did last time. I'm gonna save these for last because they're the best. We're gonna open this uh, mystery, uh, magical mystery pin bag. And we're still hoping for certain characters. I mean, you guys saw the last video and without giving it away, because I don't want to give it away, go watch the other video um, to see who else we got in the last one. We got Simba. Simba's ador ad adorable. Simba is so adorable. Can we start new words here? Adorable. Very cute. I really like these. They're really thick pins. They're really, really, really nice pins. And of course, you can trade these if you want. But like I said, trading comes with a price because you don't know if you're going to get a um, good pin, a fake pin, or whatever. So let's go ahead and do some of these hidden, uh, hidden Mickey mystery pouches. So you get two pins, randomly selected pins. So let's go ahead and see who's in this. So if you can tell, they come in these like little 
cardboard thing so you can't feel through the packaging on which ones they are. Okay, so this is really, really cool. We got Woody. And if I'm correct, I've never parked at Walt Disney World because we always take the buses. But these are like the signs in the parking lot on where to park. Is, am I correct? I think I am. So this is really cool. And it says Woody and it says 1 through 10. And like I said, they're Hidden Mickey. So if you can tell, there's a Hidden Mickey right there. See it? See it? See it? See it? So that's really cute. And let's see who else we got. Oh my gosh, this one is really, really cute too. We got one of the seven drawers. We got Happy. These are so flippin' cute, guys. What do you guys think of these? I absolutely love it. There's the hidden Mickey right there on the hat. I love these. They're a little pickaxe and a little shovel. So, so cute. So I really like um, these little pouches here, these mystery hidden Mickey mystery pouches. I will definitely get more of these because they have some really, really cute ones. And I'm keeping both of those because I really like both of them. So I think I'm gonna open this, uh, the Storybook Steeds first because these are my favorite, the Monorail Magic. So I really wanna open these. Um, and these were $16.99, so, and the reason I think that these were a little bit more, nope, the Monorail Magic $16.99 too. So, obviously you get to see who you get first, so we did get the Mary Poppins one, because you get to choose, and I really like that, it's got the little penguin down here. This is a really big pin, let me take it off its little board back there so I can show you absolutely freaking love this this thing is so freaking cute i need to stop saying freaking but these are really cute so if you see some of those pick them up now here are the ones again who we can get and i really want philippe uh where are you philippe from beauty and the beast of course so let's see who we get <gasps> oh my goodness okay so this one is a mystery as well, and I absolutely love this one because it is, it is the horse from Cinderella. Do you guys remember his name? I'll have to look it up. But oh my gosh, how adorable. It's got the pumpkin, the tower, the strikes midnight, the castle right here. I am extremely happy with this pin box so basically you get two pins and these are big pins okay so here's like the little mystery um hidden mickey pin a difference in size if you can tell i am very very happy with this set so in july i'm definitely gonna look for more of these because maybe i need the entire set now i don't know in my mind i do and also I'm getting a better look at these and this one I can't get my camera to really focus I don't know why has glitter glitter right inside of the uh, horseshoe right here super flipping adorable what do you guys think I think they're adorable let me show you this one one more time because I'm so digging these they're so cute okay so now that we opened all those we have the monorail magic ones which are the ones i've been waiting for you get two randomly selected pins in here you don't know which ones they're gonna be i don't even know how big these are i've never even seen these so from the size of them they're pretty decent size um so let's go ahead and open these i'm super 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 excited about it and the first one we get, <gasps> shut the front door. Okay, first off, we got a mystery one. Secondly, we got one of my main girls, and that is Tinkerbell! Oh my gosh, okay, that was ridiculous. I got Tinkerbell, I'm sorry, I, with the high-pitched squeal. I love Tinkerbell, if you guys don't know, she's awesome. We got the yellow monorail, oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm really ticked off at myself for not buying more of these. I would've just bought these, just bought them. 
all of them. I love them. They're absolutely amazing. I love the monorail. I love Tinkerbell. I love Walt Disney World and they say Walt Disney World on them. Now that I'm pumped and I got freaking Tinkerbell. <gasps> Girl, y'all, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and open the next one. Nothing can be Tinkerbell unless I get Orange Bird or Figment or Mickey Mouse. So let's see who we get in the next one. I'm so sad that I didn't get more of these because now I want more. <gasps> I'm so excited, y'all. Look! I got Mickey Mouse! Okay, so everybody knows that Mickey Mouse is my main my main squeeze, my main man, I love him to death. It says Walt Disney World, you get Mickey Mouse, the red line monorail, red is my favorite color. This is the perfect pin. I am obsessed, y'all don't even know. I'm so obsessed with these monorail pins. I am going to buy a truckload of these next time we go. At least four more boxes, I would have to say, because I want the entire monorail collection. I am obsessed. Okay, so my day has been made. These pins are, these pins are, I speak in different languages sometimes if you didn't know. These pins are absolutely incredible. I am so happy with all of them. Let me give you another look at them. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Okay, so we got the horsies from the um, Storybook Steeds. We got the monorail pins, two awesome ones we got. Tinkerbell and Mickey Mouse and then we got some of the hidden Mickey ones right here we got Happy and Woody and then we also got Simba from the uh, Magical Mystery Pin Series 9 so there is a look at all of them all right guys I was overly excited in this video I hope you guys appreciated that but I really really love opening these Disney Park pins they're like it's like an addiction it's like you can't get enough of them so I'm really happy that I purchased these um, let me know in the comments below which one of these are your favorites um, tell me how you feel about the monorail ones because you obviously know how I feel about them and also guys if you're not already please hit that subscribe button please give this video a thumbs up you guys have been incredible so welcoming here on YouTube you guys are the absolute best and um, I will see you next time so Remember, do as dreamers do, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere.